Right, hello everybody. How are you all doing? Hope you have had a good Tuesday. And I have some business to take care of. So, I'm back in RuneScape. And as you can see, I'm back using the not Rune Light. That is because today's quest involves a little trip back to free to play country. So, I have 21 days of old school and ownership remaining. Great. This is a free world. You can switch to a member's world by using the world switcher. Well, we're not going to be in world switching mode today. In fact, I'm going to teleport to Lombridge straight away. So, last time around, I finally found Gertrude's cat which is all good found Gertrude's cat and as a reward we get the cat although for now it will just remain in my inventory for a bit but today I'm going to be taking care of some free to play business some new free to play business in fact a new quest was devised in the last couple of days for the free quest list and that is X marks the spot don't know all the other free quests, but now I've got to do this new one, so I'm going to do it. So, I can start this quest by talking to Vios in the Sheared Ram pub in Wombridge. This quest has no requirements, thankfully. <clears throat> and this cat will just have to, uh... well, I can't actually use it because it's a members only item. So I guess the cat's kind of useless, but I'll keep it on me just for the sake of it. So, this is the new pub. The Sheared Ram. This was added as part of the update that changed this little area in Wombridge. So there's a pub here now. And there's Vios, an experienced treasure hunter. Let's call a word of him, shall we? See what he has to offer. What pearls of wisdom he chooses to invoke upon us. Hello there. Who are you? My name's Vios. I'm a treasure hunter from the wondrous kingdom of Great Corend. Great Corend? Where is that? Across the sea to the far west in a tr truly magnificent place. Interesting. So what brings you to Ombridge? I am here on a bit of a hunt. The hunt for treasure. Back in my home of Great Corend, I came across a scroll. I believe it will lead me to something of great value. Alas, I've hit a bit of a blocker. The scroll has led me here, but as I don't really know the area, I'm not sure what to do next. Can I help? Hmm, maybe you can. You probably know this area better than I do. You might be able to work the scroll out. I'll be able to reward you if you help. Sounds good. What should I do? Take this scroll. It should lead you to the treasure I seek. Once you've found it, meet me at my ship. It's docked at a small jetty south of Draenor Markets. They also give you a scroll. Awesome. Anything else I should know? You'll probably want a spade. I had a feel we'd need a spade for this quest. I find they're pretty much all much always need when it comes to hunting treasures. Check the general store if you don't have one. If you need any extra help, just let me know. So tell me more about this Great Korand, then. Great Korand is a magnificent kingdom comprising of five cities. They are the cities of Arceus, Novakenge, Shizen, Piscarillus, and Hosadus. Each city is ruled by one of the five houses of Korand. At one time, the kingdom as a whole was ruled over by a king or queen that the five ants houses answered to. However, since our last king died 20 years ago, the kingdom has instead been ruled by an elected council. Sounds like a fascinating place. Anyway, I better get started with the treasure hunt. Good luck. Okay, so, the quest begins. He comes from a place far, far away by membership, called Great Corend by membership. And he's come in search for treasure from this great kingdom by membership. 
he is referring to so, this place. And I guess these are the five cities. Asidus, Shazen, Wabaken, Archaeus, and uh, where's Piscilus? Oh, it's around here. <clears throat> so this is a members area, and as someone pointed out last time, this whole quest is designed to, well, get people to buy membership. Well, we'll also introduce them to Clue Scrolls, which apparently this is. Which is fair enough. I mean, it's not like they need to give people any more reason to be a member. Here's an extra one. And something new as well, I guess. Gay shoes. Apparently people on free to play realms are very critical. Well, in this particular area anyway, they are. Ah, splashes. <laughs> I look forward to dealing with you. I look forward to trolling you guys. Well, wow. good. Oh. I'm back. All right, so let's get ourselves a spade. Hopefully we have a spade, and we do. All right, I suppose we should actually, ah. Sorry, my head. I suppose we should actually read this scroll and see what it says. Within the town of Wombridge lives a man named Bob. He walks out of his door and takes one step east, seven steps north, five steps west, and one step south. Once he arrives, he digs a hole and buries his treasure. Oh, that sounds pretty simple. Find Bob. Follow the directions. Unearth treasure. Well, hey. <laughs> Unfortunately, I won't be able to stop these splashes because I can't use the cats. In a... It's even just called Member's Object. It's not even a cat anymore. It's a Member's Object. So I guess those splashes will be free to splash as much as they please. <laughs> so now we have to find Bob. Now, if I recall, doesn't Bob do axes? Or am I wrong? You. You! Ah, you are Bob. Right. So... One step east. Looks out of his door and takes one step east, seven steps north, five steps west, and one step south. So. One. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Five steps west and one step south. So one, two, three, four, five. And dig here. Oh, I dig up a treasure scroll. Wait, what? Didn't I just uncover a treasure scroll? Ah, oh, no, I stand corrected. It appears I found a different treasure scroll. And this one has... Well, that's one bridge castle. And it's showing three... Oh, no, it's showing trees. And X marks the spot behind the castle. It's behind one bridge castle, then. That is where we're going to find the treasure. Which I can use find a sec... Oh, boy. <laughs> I have a feeling we're going to be uncovering quite a few treasure scrolls before we get the actual treasure. I would suspect. It says it's somewhere around this area. Hmm. Yeah, it's somewhere here. Let's try digging here. Nothing there. Nothing there. 
Nothing there. Nothing there. Ah! A mysterious orb. An orb that I found while hunting treasure for Vios. Alright, let's feel the orb. The orb is cold. The orb is cold in the same temperature as last time. Okay. Oh, I see. The orb is going cold, going warmer. Colder than last time. Okay. Oh, I see. So, that's pretty cool. So, gotta sit. Well, there's plenty of heat around here, I'm sure. Colder than last time. Going there and there. Am I might have to go outside the castle for this? Might be. Gotta go outside the castle. I'm gonna go outside the castle, so let's get our running boots on. Oh, for the love of God. Why is my character going... Whatever way he's going. Alright, yeah, of course. There's that exit. Doop. Doopity doo. Ah, warm. We're getting somewhere. Warmer than last time. Warmer. Warmer. Warm. Still warm. Oh, jeez. I went to get hotter. <laughs> Warmer than last time. Hmm. But yeah, how far outside this place did he bury this treasure? Says, still saying warm. Best use of the buckets. But colder than last time. Is it because I went back? Oh, it's hot. Okay, we're close. Let's try digging. Nope. Nope. It's, we're close to it. Whatever. It's getting warmer. See, you're making some noises as well. Alright. Keep going. The same temperature as last time. So we are close then. Ah, warmer, hanging in the right direction. So it's north and north. Colder than last time, okay. Same temperature. Hmm. Warmer. Same as last time. Hmm, let's try going south. Colder. Okay, so we are on the right track, then. Warmer, warmer. 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 This is step by step. Same temperature, so no change if I go that way. No change going that way. Colder. Same temperatures last time in three different directions? What? I wonder if I've I wonder if I've actually found the spot. Let me try. That's so weird. This is warmer than last time, but then it goes same temperature. Oh, it's warmer up here. Let's 
try digging here then. Hmm. Nothing there. It's on the other side of this fence then, isn't it? This is the Drano Jail, isn't it? Hey, Bofus, how's it going? I'm doing the new quest. And I think we're close. Same temperature, same temperature, same temperature as before. I don't know, we... We got a we got a treasure scroll, which wears to another treasure scroll, which wears to this orb. Ah, it's colder if I go that way. It's very hot. We're close then. Same temperature as last time. Nothing happens on either of those squares. Something interesting happens there. About here. Oh, it's warmer than last time, so we're even closer. But nothing happens. Oh, I gotta go round. 26. Oh, good. Close. Warmer. Warmer, warmer. I mean, let's go down this trap door or something. Is that what it's alluding to here? Or maybe it's past the trap door. Same temperature. Hmm. No, no, it's warmer, so it's somewhere around here. Same temperature as last time. Warmer. Warmer. Warmer still. Come on, what is it? Hmm. The orb is incredibly hot. <laughs> And warmer than last time. And the same temperature. I'll try digging around here. No. Ah. Oh. It's more over here then, I guess, is it? Nope. Warmer still. Same temperature. Hmm. Damn it. But colder, so it's more to the left. Warmer than last time. Hmm. Same temperature. Same temperature. Uh, it's warmer here. Nope. The orb is visibly shaking and burns to the touch. This must be the spot. Ah, oh, another treasure scroll. Wah, wah, wah. The mysterious orb went to a third treasure scroll. The cipher reveals where to dig next. Heads, nips, kikro. I can't even read that text. Ez, bizops, kyoj, qfo. Of. Is it like an anagram or something? Foo? Oof? No, that doesn't make sense. Oh shit, I don't know what that cipher is supposed to be. That's a tricky one. Um, 
A S B Z O P S Q C H Q F O. And it says the cipher reveals where to dig next. Oh, I have no idea. Suppose. Uh, no, I don't know. Not now. Maybe the uh, guy in the pub knows the cipher, because I don't have a cipher on me. Well, no one would ask, I suppose. How have you been anyway, Bofus? Have you had a good day today? As you can see, I'm using old school RuneScape instead of Rune White, because I'm back in free to play country. So I am playing on a free server. So I thought I'd indicate it by having. Not using you, right? Oh, you too, eh? Yeah, I've been doing the same. And sorting out my car insurance. That was painful. But it's done now, so that's one less thing to worry about, at least. It's going to cost me a bit of money, but it's it's worth it. Now I can just get back to worrying about my job and other stuff. Alright, let's see if our good friend Vios in the Sheared Ram pub is able to help us with this cipher. Let's talk about my quest. How's the treasure hunt going? I could do with some extra help. Ah, you show the scroll. Ah, a cipher! I've seen these before. Try shifting the letters one to the left or right. That normally works. Letters one to the left or right. To the left or right. Uh, one to the... What? What? In what regard do I... Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm thinking I have to write this down. You have to actually use actual pen and paper. E-S... B-Z-O-P-S... Q-J-H... Q-F-O... Oh, you mean it, each individual letter? Yeah, I that kind of would probably make more sense. So let's see. That means you could have D or C. R O T A or C. Y or A. Okay, it's it seems to be shove it one to the left because it spells out Draenor. Draenor. A B C D E F G H I J K L M O P P P I A C D E F G H Draenor Pig Pen. The Draenor Pig Pen. Right. Yeah, Pig Pen. Alright. Awesome. Guys, where can I find the Maple? Oh, I don't have time to answer that. I don't actually remember off the top of my head either. Wow. Well, I was told this is what Clue Scrolls are like in Members World. They offer the same sort of things. So I've been told about Clue Scrolls, and now this quest is kind of a shameless membership plug, in a sense. But uh, it's a quest, nevertheless. Well, I hope you find a new job anyway.
both of us. I hope we both find a new job soon. But at least, hopefully now, I don't have to, I've also renewed my antivirus this month, so... I've got a 500 quid already down, but hopefully that's it. You never know, once had an Oh, I have Norton. Just a peace of mind, you know. It's more useful for my mum than myself, but I, know, I won't lie, I'm not going to... Alright, it's in the pig pen. Can we go inside the pig pen? Yes, we can. Right, let's dig. You dig up an ancient casket. As you do, you hear a faint whispering. You can't make out what it says, though. Hmm, must have been the wind. Anyway, this must be the treasure that Bios was after. I should take it to his ship south of Traynor Market. An ancient casket. This must be what Vios is looking for. I'm very hesitant to open this because it does sound pretty uh, spooky. Hello there. Hello, Vios. How's the treasure hunt going? I found the treasure. Excellent. I'll take it off your hands now. You give Vios the ancient casket. Brilliant. This is just what I was looking for. Thank you so much for your help. No problem. So, what is this treasure anyway? Oh, uh, nothing important. Just something that might be of use to me back in Great Corrend. If you say so. Anyway, as promised, a reward for you. Congratulations! You have completed! X marks the spot. You are awarded. One quest point, an antique lamp, and 200 coins. Not bad. Anyway, I'd best be getting back to Great Corrend. You're welcome to come along. In fact, as a thank you for your help, I'm willing to take you to and from Great Corrend any time you like. I'd love to come. Well, unfortunately, it seems you're not quite ready to visit Great Corrend yet. Come back when you are, and I'll happily take you there. You must be a member's world to do that. You can use the world switch to change to a member's world. Oh, is this one of those where I just get more things? Maybe I should have walked inside the ancient casket. Maybe. Well, guess we'll never know. Maybe it's a family heirloom. Maybe it's a magic spell. Maybe he'll tell us when we see him in his hometown. Let's look the lamp. Oh, choose the state you wish to be advanced. Mining. Your wish has been granted. You have been awarded 300 mining experience. Thanks. That was helpful, I think. Right, well. That puts all the three quests back to being completed. And we gain an extra quest point, which will be useful in the long run, I'm sure. And more importantly, it means we can now resume our business of being on... Well... What it means now is... We're done with the free quest, which means... A little transition needs to take place. Just a little bit of a transition. Give me a moment. Why well, I walled up something. So if you don't have antivirus, then what do you use for protection then? Against the forces of evil? <laughs> if I might ask. So you will be seeing something shortly. Boom! Moonlight, welcome back. There we are. And here's our cat. Our pet kitten. And we are now back in a member's world. And thus we can do everything. But hey, X marks the spot is done. 
So, little kitten, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do, little kitten? What are we gonna do? Now that we have all this uh, great and powerful uh, time, what are we gonna do, little kitten? I'm gonna feed you a fish. I'm gonna talk after you, aren't I? Oh, I'm gonna talk after you, aren't I, little kitten? Yep. I'm gonna have to look after you. Don't worry, I have a plan. It's a great plan. It's a wonderful plan. It's called Wet's Mind for Shit. Again. <laughs> Let's get this cat evolved. Oh no! My little kitten! You need to follow me, little kitten. Here. Since you suck at pathfinding, let's uh, go. Come on. Let's go, little kitten. We're gonna go do some mining. I don't think my cat could run, can it? No, this cat can't keep up with me when I run, so. Yeah, I've never done anything sketchy either, but it's not hard to get bummed take the wrong turn. It's just helpful for peace of mind, really, I think. Now, you're going to be a very hungry little kitten. The cat will teleport to you if it gets left behind. Alright, so I can just run and let it do whatever. Oh, that's nice. Oh, hey, look, it does. You're right. <laughs> Teleports. It's a teleporting kitten. That's helpful. We'll have to, we'll have to keep in mind we got to feed it if we want to make it grow into an adult cat. I'm guessing if we store the cat away in our bank, it won't, like, get hungry or die or anything, will it? I assume. Why didn't I just go to Fowler Door? Oh, whatever. Bit wait for that now. So if a cat's in the inventory, uh, in the bank, will it just stay fine or will it die or whatever? Also, hey, I'm just how you doing? <laughs> nope, it'll only need attention and food when following me. Right, I see. Oh yeah, we've already done the free quest, by the way. X marks the spot. Wasn't, it was interesting. If that's what crew, crew scrolls are like as members, I'll probably will do. I'll be doing those from time to time, but it was a pretty nice and simple quest. With an ominous ancient casket, which I guess we'll never find out about. Well, unless we do, when it's a member's quest, then we'll find out. But we didn't get to find out for this time being. Anyway, since I have a bit of spare time, although not a massive amount of spare time, I'm going to go to a certain place. Can you guess where I might be going with my cats? Does anyone have any clues where I might be going with my cat? They can be a lot more cryptic than that quest. Ah, so that was a taster. And it also teases you with Great Karand. That's the entire purpose of the quest. You weren't kidding. I thought that port was just a subtle change, but no. The quest ends with that port, and then it's like, do you want to go to this great city? Now pay membership. Of which I have. Oh, let's uh, interact with our old kitten. Where's Stroke It? You softly stroke your cat. The cat shows to be stroked. Oh, yes, we have a cat now, by the way. We got this from the last quest, Gertrude's cat. I'm going out to poker in a bit, so I'm not going to have much time. But that means I get a bit of time to do this. Yep, that's right. Cover your ears. It sure is time for... This theme. Who's the lucky lady? Ooh, a hammer. You know what, I'll just take this hammer for free. Doink. Oh, 
Ha 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 ha, who's the lucky lady? I'm gonna have to get some practice in. I'm off to a regional final on Sunday. Now I'm off to a regional poker final in a Sunday, so I've got to get some practice in before then. I only got two nights to practice this week before the big event. Today and tomorrow. So, fingers crossed, Sigil doesn't come out until like Friday or something. Actually, I would prefer if Sigil didn't come out until next week. <laughs> then I could be fully focused on it when it does release. I would absolutely hate it to come out like Saturday evening when it's like, fuck you, Ramiro. Bit it. Now then, kitten, this is called mining. It's an activity that a lot of RuneScape players like to do. Especially when they want golden nuggets so they can unlock things. This music is incredibly frustrating. Has the chat gone wild yet? <laughs> My cat is just very nicely waiting there, watching me mine. There we go. How are you doing anyway, Omnitus? Have you had a good day so far? I didn't actually think the quest would take that. Be that quick. But now that it's done, I can get back to members business. Uh, I'm not quite sure what I want to do now, actually. I'm not so sure what I've got several options at this point. I could do Priest in Peril to get the Furry Tail quest chain another step closer. I could go and do Rat Catchers so I could get my keep my kittens in a good state. Or I could go do some mining and get a shit ton of and get access to the mining guild. Also, I'll probably mine a shit ton of iron. You don't want to do rat catchers with a kitten. Doing some night with zone grinding and can't be doing slayer. Duh, duh, duh. Oh, it's got a cape on it which has uh I don't know what the hell that is. It's a cape. Oh, my inventory is too full to any more pay dirt. Come on then, kitten. He is wearing a full ham set. Oh, kittens suck at catching rats. Right. I see. So if I want to do that quest, I'm going to need an adult kitten, basically. There 
There we go. Some nice smithing experience. So you can actually get a hamster. I wonder what that gives you. Don't tell me. I don't want to know what it gives me. Wait, did I just get some mining experience just from depositing the ore? To find out more about Ham, do the Wash Treb quest line. Oh, no goddamn buddy. No nuggets. Lots of coal and mithril. The thing is, though, I don't really need any... Well, I need lots of coal, to be fair, but I'm not sure I need that much mithril. Ah, what the heck. It'll be useful if I want to make stuff later. Right, little kitten. Let's get back to... Let's give you a stroke for being a good little kitten. Who's a good kitten? Oh, you're a good kitten. I wish I could name the cat. That'd be nice. Doesn't seem that's an option now at the moment. Let's find out more about how to do a trip quest line. Lost Tribe. This one. I can start this quest by speaking to Sigmund in Lumbridge Castle. I must have completed Rune Mysteries, Goblin Diplomacy, and have level... Oh. I lack the agility and feeling requirements for that one at the moment. I thought it might have something to do with this, but... Oh, this is like... Alright, whatever. Quite a few quests there, but thanks for that. Uh, Omnitus. At least I know what to aim for now. Just screwing out my notes from earlier. I had to figure out the riddle of the clue scroll. That's why I was doing that. Hmm. I mean, we do have quite a dilemma here. What to do next? Okay. So let me think. Fairy Tale 1. I need to complete Nature Spirit. That's the first quest that will allow me to access to something. To Nature Spirit, I need to have completed the Priest in Peril. Okay. And the Priest in Peril, I just need to speak to King Road and be able to defeat World for the enemy. Which will then allow me to do Nature Spirit. And then after that, I'll be able to do Fairy Tale 1. Although it says a high farmer will be an advantage, and I need to be able to defeat a level 111 monster. There's 10 of these playlists, I recommend them. Relaxing video game music for three hours. Oh, is that a killer key for you to tell me to stop playing the music of the game? Yeah, I don't blame you. I hate this theme too. It's it's fun once and then that's it. How's your day going? It's right there. So look. Whoop. Alright, we'll put this on for a bit. Capcom put all the game music on Spotify. How you doing, Pinchy Scree? Hmm. Now, I think I was told that Furry Tail uh, is a good quest chain to do because it gives me some nice access to teleportation. I just realized I need to move my camera differently now. So let me just adjust my thing a moment. There we go. We're good. No new mapping until the weekend. You need yourself a bit of a break, eh? Runite Minor. 
Designer of the 2014 Play Design Content Motherworld Mine. Oh, okay. It's an interesting NPC. What the fuck am I looking at? This is RuneScape, Mega Lego Smuggler. I'm playing some RuneScape for a bit. And I've already completed the quest I was set out to do. So... I'm just doing a bit of mining. Until it's time for poker. <laughs> if you're not aware, which you should be, this is a long-term chill stream project I'm doing. Thanks for that uh, playlist, by the way, Pinchy. That's pretty, pretty nice. In fact, let me add that to my likes. Because that'll be useful for more than one thing. <laughs> And this is the Motherworld Mine, which is found in the um, Members World. Well, this is just the mining, Lego Smuggler. It's not all mining. <laughs> Looks about as fun as pulling toenails out of your teeth. Oh, my cat is being... Uh... I don't want to shoot it away. I want to give it the lots of strokes. Well, it's a nice relaxing game for me, Lego, Mega Lego Smuggler. So, I mean, I, I enjoy playing this game, so... Deal with it! <laughs> I got an emerald to chisel as well. So I got a some crafting level. I think I can chisel these as well, I think. Oh, oh God. Yeah, there we go. Venezuelan Economy Simulator 2019. <laughs> Wish. Oh, what is he going about now? I just fixed one of the wheels. Oh, and there's no golden nuggets. That sucks. I need golden nuggets so I can unlock better things. Or just one better thing. There you go. I fixed your old thing for you. At some point, I am going to have to get a shitload of iron. So I can get my um, smithing level up. It will have to happen. I'm going to bank all this for now, though. What is that? Do I have a chisel? I do have a chisel. Chisel that emerald. There we go. And I'll be all. All right, go on, kitty. Back to the mining. Oh man. Are you looking forward to Sigil coming out, Pinchy? I imagine you will be. <laughs> I mean, it's the 12th of February, so we're in mid-February now. It's got a Kamani day. I'd imagine. Nah, I kind of bored of basic Doom. Even though it's like the first... Well, the first episode of entire John Romero maps. I mean, you watch Romero play, it's built fine. I, I won't lie with you, Pinchy. I have kind of hit that stage where I'm a little fatigued with Doom a bit. I'm a bit tired of the Revenants. I'm a bit tired of... I don't know. I, I just was a little irritable yesterday. And I think what it is, is I need a little bit of a small break from Doom. So, what I'm going to do is, once Sigil comes out, and I will play it as soon as it comes out, I'm going to take a little break from Doom and play some other games instead. Yes, I could play all your maps, Pinchy Scree. I could do that. 
But I want to play Dusk. I'm really, either Dusk or Duke Nukem. I'd really like to, I'm really tempted just to play Duke Nukem 3D and the expansions. I had the Megaton Edition. I've been dying to play that for several years. And I think I just need a little break from Doom for a bit. Play something different for a bit. And then come back to Doom already and refreshed. Well, also I'm going to gain a mining level here. Which is good. I might visit Quake at some point as well. I've been meaning to play some Quake stuff too, but there's quite a lot of things I've been meaning to do, to be honest. So... At least I got my car insurance sorted today. Oh no, my cat's hungry! Okay, cat, please eat salmon. Nice. The bad news is we're probably going to have to put the cat into the inventory after this. Yeah, I think that's what's happened with me and Doom. I think I'm just a little tired of Revenants and just Doom. Because it's a great game, but you can get burnt out on even your favourite game. Oh, I'm level 57. Three more levels and the mining guild will be mine. The best time I had was giving the golden trio of Diablo 2, Viet Cong, and Command and Conquer's Generals. Yeah, I want to play a lot of other games, that's the thing. I think mixing up is a good idea. And I think I just hit that point. I mean, thankfully last night there was the excellent trilogy of maps from yourself, uh, Time of Death and Cypec 2, to remind me that I'm, there's plenty of good Doom maps out there, but... I, I just feel I need a break from Doom after Sigil. Once I've done Sigil, I'm taking a break for it for a while. At least a month. Going to play some Duke. And hopefully I might even play Dusk. Actually, come to think of it. A Medieval has just released episode 6, right? Is that going to be the final chapter or not? Because I have a MIDI, but I'm not playing it till it's fucking finished. Same with Iron Maiden, and that's coming out this half of the year, isn't it? So there's a good chance I could actually play all three of those early access trilogy games. I could play Dusk, I could play a Medieval, and I could play Iron Maiden. You 100% hid Wolfenstein and New Order, did the first of Ukulele, Human Moonworld, and Iron Maiden all in the same week. Wow, that sounds pretty good. No, oh, come on. That's the third one with no nuggets. I'm, I think I may have to put my cat into storage here. Because if it gets hungry, I can't feed it. And that'll be a problem. Ah, uh, we'll wait out one little bit longer. Just give it a nice stroke. Every cat loves to be stroked. It's the Cardinal War. And that's another game I want to play. Wolfenstein The New Order. Oh man, that'll be sweet. There's so many games I want to play. Like, there's not Doom. I just don't have the time. But I'm going to make some time after Sigil. I might, not, I might not even come back to Doom for a couple of months. I do want to, though. There are some Doom mods I'm desperately wanting to play. Particularly Struggle and Gun Souls 2. But in the shorter stuff, there's Deathless, Nano Pineapple. Uh, I need to play the Omega Project. And then Elementalism, whenever that comes out. Oh crap, I've got two Iron Mans to do as well. Shit. Well, one Iron Man, really. But whatever. 
Maybe I'll do that on Friday then, or Thursday, after I finish the mega project, if Sinjo isn't out. That's the thing, actually. I still need to do the Iron Mans. Okay, so I can take a break from Doom, but I, I can play the Iron Mans. That will count as my Doom content for a bit. I'll have to see. I just know I think I need a break from Doom. That I am definitely certain of. I mean, I could play lots more RuneScape, but... Nah, there's other games out there I want to try. This is just something I do when I just feel lazy. <laughs> or just feel like it. I don't want to fall off the... Uh... Probably quite a bit away for smithing. I wonder if there's any way of increasing the golden nugget chance, or whether it's just completely random. Probably just this random walk, isn't it? I would guess. I also finally managed to watch the King Dime speedruns today. I finally got some time and watched both of them. Those are some pretty entertaining runs. Especially Doom 2. <laughs> I would have loved to have seen that Barney the Archvale moment live. That would have been great. <laughs> that was just unexpected brilliance right there. Oh no, someone isn't going to fix the bloody wheel. Oh wait, he's going to fix it. Oh good. Someone else recognizes the importance of fixing these things. Thank God for that. Let's give you a nice stroke, shall we? Oh, adorable. Okay, dump it off. Whoosh! Yay, do get some experience for just putting it through the hopper. Yes, two golden nuggets at once. All right. Wait, why did I only get 26? Oh, the nuggets count as individual things. Alright, okay. No big deal. I got two. I need to get a uh, hundred of those to get the coal sack that I need for the future. Check there's not more in the sack. Nah, it was the nuggets. It counted as two. Alas. You don't need to carry around a hammer. You can grab one from the box next to the... F oh, I don't have to carry a hammer, do I? Okay, then. You can grab one in the box next to the thing. All oh, right, okay. Well, that's useful. I have, like, pretty ten hammers in reserve anyway, so... <laughs> Let's get to mining, kitten. So yeah, when I get I'm gonna get a coal sack first because that'll be so useful for smithing for the rest of the my game time in this. I still haven't made a decision about membership either. As what I'm going to do. But I still got 21 days of membership left, so I've got time to ponder my options. 
Well, that's what I'd like to go for, both of us. I'm just wondering if it'll be worth it. It's just a case of being careful of what I spend my money on. I mean, I have I have spent about five hundred pound today, but that was on car insurance and security, so it was worth it. But it's just a case of hmm. Will I be alright spending £60 on RuneScape for a year? It's a pretty good deal, honestly. But... Hmm. I'll make, that, I'll make that decision when the bonds run out. I don't have to worry about it for now, because the bonds are going to last for another two, three weeks-ish. So, I don't have to panic until, like, mid-March. So I can just enjoy the time. I mean, it might be that there comes a period of time where I can't play RuneScape for a bit. So maybe I don't then buy the membership until I'm getting back into playing it again. Or maybe I do. Who knows? I think I might do another quest next time. I'm thinking about possibly doing Priest in Peril. <laughs> Just so I can get that quest chain for the Furry Rings off to a good start. If I can get up to like Furry Tail 1, I'm in business for later. I mean, several people said it was a good suggestion for nice fast transportation, so... Although, for the very last part, I'm going to have to worry about some skill checks, but anyway. Let's give you a stroke, shall we? A game. Stroke. That cat sure loves to be stroked. Priest in Peril also unlocks the whole east side of the map. Mauritania. Alright. So it's useful for multiple reasons then. In that case then, I guess it, I will do that next time. It will help me for the fairy tale quest and it will unlock Mauritania. I knew something unlocked that, but I didn't know what quest it was. Well, that's that sold. Alright, where have I got in the sack? Yeah, no nuggets. Yeah, well. Gold will be useful for crafting, and coal will be useful for a lot of future items. I have more than enough mithril for all the sets I need now. I could probably make quite a few sets, in fact, <laughs> when the time comes. Uh, 1852. Uh, do I have time for one more? Probably not. I probably need to get out of here. Come on, kitty. It's time to go ahead out of the mother world mine. All right, we're going to turn off the relaxing music now going to put the game music back on. So, cover your ears briefly. I hope it's out of here soon. I promise. Wait, why don't I just teleport back to one bridge? It should be fair. The timer should be up by now. Well, pick and shovel, I won't be forgetting you anytime soon. Goodbye, kitty. All right, kitten. If we're going to take you with us, we're going to get you some food, aren't we? If you're going to stay with us for a bit. 
Might as well yank that. Let's get all geared again. Man, all these quests sure are being useful. Follow the steps and trade me for your reward. Giving 5 to 1 Hinnemann for one comment. Search Bandos993 on YouTube. Oh, hey! Maybe we could test the kitty's ability to actually uh, chase vermin. Go on, puss, kill that rat! <laughs> Oh, it did! Oh, who's a good kitten? You're a good kitten! Yes, you are. You're a good cat. You scared away that rat. <laughs> Splashing on them. The woman. Adios, rat. See you later. Where's my kitten gone? Yeah, kitten, kitten, kitten. Oh, there's my kitten. Alright, well, that's going to be it for this time. Bit of a short part, but X marks the spot is now done. Next time around, I'll be doing Priest in Peril. As hopefully I'll be doing some more member stuff. Thank you all for watching. And see you around. Say goodbye, kitty. Look at it! Look at it! It's a great cat!